So on this last day of investigation, uh, Dhamma Vichaya, I'd like to bring our attention to one of the most important investigations that we explore in mindfulness practice, investigating the mind, the habits of our thinking and their effect on us. Every thought has a physical correlate, but because we tend to live in our heads and ignore what's below, we may not notice that the body reacts, it responds, it holds itself in certain ways based on the way we think. For example, notice what happens in the body when you receive a compliment, right? We, we know that, that swelling feeling inside, that openness, and we feel warm. And notice what happens when we receive criticism, right? We tend to shrink a little, we feel crushed. There's something, something inside kind of sinks. And notice what happens when we look at the headline news, right? The way in which we tend to, it, it, it creates the arousal state of anxiety and fear for many of us. The body reacts in kind to whatever the mind is attending to. So it's kind of good to know what the mind is paying attention to. So today I'd like to look at one of the, one of the more common uh, and insidious habits of mind that we have, which is self-critical thinking, thoughts of not being enough, of comparing, of being judgmental, unkind, negative, or harsh toward ourselves, and begin to notice and feel their effect on us. This is dukkha. This is stress. We want to release this. And most of us have some form of this dukkha going on to a greater or lesser degree. And their impact is potent, harmful to our health. Each time we let the tape run, it strengthens and reinforces that kind of thinking. And so we suffer. This is where we cause ourselves trouble, right here. No one else is in here but me. So now, consider the sheer frequency with which these kinds of thoughts arise in the course of a day, a week, a lifetime. They do a number on us, on our esteem, whereby we struggle with additional afflictions like doubt, insecurity, regret, anger, shame, all directed inwards. No, no, no. They are not innocent nor insignificant. They're poison arrows that we aim and throw at ourselves. Our reasons may differ, but they all serve to keep us in our place, reinforcing the idea that we're not enough. And we suffer at the very least privately for our perceived shortcomings. Now, the beauty of investigating mindfully is that we investigate process, not content. Nothing personal, but we're not following the trail of breadcrumbs that lead back to our childhood wounds per se. No, mindfulness is on the lookout for this kind of thought, the, the self-critical thought for now, <laughs> And once seen, bringing attention into the body and watching and feeling the stress unwind. Seeing it change right before our eyes, breathing with it. It's safer to observe and feel in the body. The tension can soften and unwind without any back talk, any lip as my dad would say. <laughs> and now we're staying out of the mind, uh, not getting caught up in the content. We're not believing and bargaining and resisting or rationalizing with these thoughts. Rather, we're, we're learning how the mind and the body are related, deeply, radically interconnected. And how thoughts, any thoughts really, but in particular today, how negative self-talk affects us and our well-being. And we can if we start to pay attention to the arising of self-critical thoughts, interrupt them 
by moving the attention out of the mind and into the body, where we can see the impact on the whole of the system. What does the body feel like inside when those kinds of thoughts are rattling around? What's the impact of what our thoughts have on the whole of the system? Well, looking, we might notice that when we bring attention down into the body, um, uh, that a moment earlier, just before we were in our heads and were completely unaware that we even had a body. Now, suddenly the body comes into view and we might feel it a little bit more. And we might notice that we're holding our breath or, or that the breath is shallow or tight and that it has been like that for quite some time. Who knows for how long? Only now, by feeling it, can we begin to free the breath so it can have a, a deeper inhalation or a deeper exhalation. Only now, noticing breathing, can we play with helping it to feel more comfortable. We might notice that the stomach is in a knot or that our hands or our jaw are tight and that noticing kindly opening them, making some room, we can soften and release some of the tension that they're holding. You see, it's for us to investigate how thoughts affect the whole of this system and learn how to caringly respond to the stress the body incurs and holds onto. This is an important aspect of investigating thoughts seeing how they live inside the whole of the body, not just the mind. Body, breath, heart, mind are affected, all of them. Each, each one holds stress in its own way. Each one requires a particular kind of caring attention to support its relaxing and releasing into ease of well-being. Don't trust me, don't believe me, check it out for yourself and we'll do this today in meditation. But investigation is intended to move us in the direction of less suffering and more ease of well being by helping us see the ways we cause trouble for ourselves. And in so doing, we find ways of, to unhook from the unhelpful patterns of thought and stress. Unwind from the dukkha, that's the name of the game. Unwind from suffering. Mindfully investigating takes the personal sting out of looking. We're not looking at the content. We're interested in process. We're interested in the relationship between the body and the mind. In looking at how at suffering and how it softens and loosens and changes and comes to an end when we don't fuel the fire. Self-critical talk is just one of the more common common, unhelpful, and sticky thought patterns that we tend to encounter. So let's learn to work with it skillfully. This is what we'll practice today in meditation, noticing the presence and the frequency of unhelpful thoughts, especially self-critical ones, and then practicing coming out of the mind, coming down into the body, feeling the stress, and kindly allowing it to unbind. We can do this. It's for our welfare that we do this. Thank you for your kind attention. And if you will now uh, gently turn the attention to the body and just let go of you for a moment and feel into what does the body feel like right now? Where does it feel tight? Where does it feel uncomfortable? Let's open it up with breathing and with movement and see if we can make more space for breathing as breathing needs to be. So we're picking up the instrument as it were, and we're feeling into it and getting comfortable with it. Settling it into a, 
a comfortable, steady posture. And if it's helpful, closing the eyes and turning the attention squarely inside and on the inhalation, feel into the opening and the expanding of the interior. And on the exhalation, feel the softening and settling around that opening and settling all the way down to the ground. And see if you can soften the grip of attention on the breath and settle back a little bit. Notice how the breath is coming to you. And bring forward that quality of caring attention. as if how it feels right now in the present moment matters. Let go of the busyness of the mind and keep attention into the experience of feeling comfortable in your skin right now. Settle into that embodied posture of caring attention. And then out of this place, let's, uh, for this meditation, notice when the mind drifts off into unhelpful thinking or into self-critical thinking. And when you notice, take a breath and bring the attention back down inside the body and notice what it feels like in the body, what that thought pattern feels like, just get that sense. And then breathe and watch it unwind all on its own.
with kind eyes notice when the mind has wandered into the negative. Take a breath and come drop the attention down into the body and let the stress unwind.
And now letting go of the instruction and just settling back and breathing with and in and through whatever's here. Just settle back. Resting. in the present moment. Now just drop in the awareness of context. All of us sitting here with you, you sitting here with us, each of us alone together, making room for what is here. a collective holding environment. Thank you for your practice.